Okay. Sarcophagus. In horror stories, there's always secret passageways under sarcophaguses like this. And they always lead down into secret underground chambers. In reality, though, I think I can exclude that idea. There are only probably some horrible beetles and corpse-eating maggots in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How very pleasant. Alright, what am I supposed to do now? Um... <sighs> Alright. Mm, okay. Can I put the sling on one of these things? No, that's not what we want. The hook in the sling? No. Pulley, can we stick it up here somewhere? A good plan. Unfortunately, the okay. thing doesn't have hooks. So I need to put the hook on the pulley first. Here we go. No? You don't you don't like that. Alright. Put the hose. Nope. The rope. Nope. He is just shooting down all my ideas. Okay, get that out of here. I wanna go back out. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Um, can I put the sling around these guys? No. The hook? No. Pulley? No. Rope? Yes. <laughs> Try everything until it works. Now, how does that go? You can somehow rig up a tripod out of three pieces of wood. So... And then, like so. Yep, exactly. And now, one tripod. Just has to be erected now. Uh. I'll position it as well as I can over the sarcophagus. Okay, good. Alright, now what? Can you throw that up there? No. Um, pulley on this thing that you made? I'll hang the pulley on the rope. I'll try to get as much of the rope as I can. That's good. You do that. Okay. Pulley. Carrying sling. Do we put this on here somewhere? No. Pulleys hanging nicely. Excellent. The pulleys hanging nicely. Very good. Um, <coughs> pardon. Uh, metal bar, maybe? No. Sling? Yes. I ought to first secure the slings to the lead. Okay, then do that. I'll place the sling around the back right corner, and the other around the front left one. Bravo! The slings are exactly long enough to touch in the middle. Okay, and now... The length just makes it. Okay, and... Pull it? Real careful. I hope it's gonna hold. I hope so too, otherwise you're gonna die in there. Oh, this is so precarious. Oh my goodness. This is not a good idea. What have idea. we got here? Steps leading down. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> the gap is big enough to squeeze through. I only hope that my rig up doesn't collapse as soon as I'm in. I hope so too. Alright, what now? Whoa! Now where's this then? Looks like the inside of a tower. And here's some kind of crater in the floor. Looks like something's exploded here. <laughs> is this what I exploded back in the day? I think it is. It Debris. looks like there wasn't any fire. There's no charring in the rubble. Well, it wasn't a fire-based explosion. An explosion which caused this kind of damage in a closed space, so Richard wouldn't have stood a chance. Good job, Samuel. You killed people. You horrible person. Folder. There's paper lying everywhere. 
Most of it's soaked through from rainwater. Okay, grab it. Huh. Here's a folder. Oh, it's only wet on one corner. Alrighty. You know what we should do? We should check his diary and read the updates about Angelina. I'm curious to see what he has to say about this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Find a way out. I should leave this room and continue searching for Angelina. Whoever trapped me in here hasn't reckoned with my inventiveness. I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna find out what this is all about. Somehow I'm going to get out of this damn bunker. Neither massive metal doors nor tons of rock are going to stop me. Angelina's okay. As long as she's okay, then everything's okay. I want to see her. It seems like after every door, there's a new one waiting for me. But I'll get through this one too. I made it. I can smell fresh air again. But what did I achieve with this little jaunt? I still don't know where Angelina is. I should go back to the hotel and have a rest. The lock can't be broken, but perhaps it could be opened in another way. Oh, this is welding powder stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Contents. Burr, 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 burr. Mom's dead. Willow Creek. That's it? Willow Creek. Uh... Alright, well, we'll read it from the top. Willow Creek, she's in danger because she wanted to help me. Why did I drag her into this? Why did I let her go? I can't forgive myself. If she... I am going to find her. There's a twisted tree engraved on Reginald Boris's ring. It could be a seal. Maybe it's some kind of company logo or a group. I guess it's that one from the banners that were by the portrait of Mordred. Willow Creek is on the way down. The series of murders 12 years ago got so sensationalized and had all the world lusting after the gruesome detail and it led to a small tourist boom. And so the decline has been felt all the more heavily now that the tourists are staying away. The Gordons have ruled over the area for centuries, but it may as well but it may well soon be over for them, probably no big loss. The last generation seemed to be made up of psycho killers, sadistic do doctors and heaven only knows what else. Angelina, secret message. Reginald Boris is in Willow Creek. He must have followed her. Or is it a coincidence? He's got something to do with this group in, with the tree symbol. And they've got something to do, I'm assuming, with here in Willow Creek. Uh, maybe this place is their base and I've sent Angelina into the lion's den? Brave, stupid girl. She didn't just take a look around. Looks like she started digging real deep. She's a bloodhound. I just hope she didn't get too careless while she was doing all that sniffing about. I like the lemons. <laughs> <coughs> the Order. Angelina warned about the Order. She had found out that it was some kind of brotherhood with some possibly sinister aims. Sounds plausible to me. The Brotherhood and mask wearers I'm familiar with sure aren't up to any good. Uh, and then, and when they start burning crosses, then I'm sure of it. Miss Valley knows what's going on with the Order. And judging by her strong reaction, it's nothing very jolly. The Order men the Order's mentioned in the Chronicle of the Gordons. If they're mentioned in a book like that, it must be pretty ancient, and back then, a, real si a really significant organization. Unfortunately, I need to be able to leaf back in the book if I want to find out more. Or I'm annoyed. Oh, what else is new? I've not slept for over 24 hours, but I do look so awful that... But do I look so awful that that tramp had to call me death? The folks around here are superstitious, even an educated woman like Miss Valley. They believe that misfortune comes to the village every 12 years. Maybe that's why the little lady's so nervous. It's 12 years since the murders happened. Angelina's insurance. But what's she doing? How could she climb down into dark passageways just to gather some information for me? She must have known well that she was getting into danger. Otherwise, she wouldn't have sent this insurance to herself. That could be dangerous. What is this worm in the apple? <laughs> These sketches are so silly. <coughs> Bunker. I encountered a hooded member of the Order and was promptly locked up. Now there can't be any doubt about how serious this Order is. But what do they want? It sounded like they wanted to get their hands on me, not Angelina. I'm understanding less and less. Reginald Boris has been killed in a hideout used by the Order. 
Did the uh, members have a falling out? Or was there a traitor? Or maybe the mask wearer didn't belong to the order at all? Reginald Boris's death throws up quite a few questions, but it gives me hope. Angelina could still be unharmed in the hands of criminals, but unharmed. I'll free her! The order seems to have set up its camp in the old mine. The space is enough for more than a dozen people. That'd be half the village then. I've got to watch out. Anybody could be a member of the order. Somewhere in nowhere. <laughs> what? My head's pounding, my tongue's swollen, and my eyes are burning. That was most definitely the worst night I've ever had. It's not easy getting away from the order. They must have put guards outside the mine. Only uh, one of them got me with a tranquilizer dart. Where am I? Am I still in Willow Creek? The sun's shining outside. That means I must have been knocked out for a few hours. Theoretically, it could also have been several days. The Gordon family tree is hanging on the wall of my prison. Could this be Black Mare here? Or is this another of the Gordon's castles? I've had one of those weird visions again. I was listening to a piano being played by a woman's voice, and a woman's voice called me Samuel. It's like I've been here once before and was remembering a scene from my childhood. Crazy. So Tom and Bobby belong to the Order, or at least are being told what to do by them. But who's behind me and Angelina's kidnapping? I seriously doubt Bobby is part of anything. He just goes along with whatever Tom does. Everything points in the direction of the Gordons. There's nothing that happens in Willow Creek without their knowing about it. And this castle belongs to them too, for sure. Wales. Nothing that's happened in the past few days has shocked me quite like the, what this small boy has told me. He's told me that Angelina was here some weeks back. A long time before we met in the States. A long time before I told her anything about Willow Creek, the Gordons, and the Order. She must have known all about all of that. She lied to me. Used me? She wasn't even kidnapped. Uh, she hasn't even been kidnapped? Was it her job to schmooze me and lure me back to England? <laughs> yes. Make me sick to think about it. I don't want to believe it. I need answers. All right. Answers! We shall get answers soon. I need to go get some water. My cough is acting up. I shall be right back. Let me pause this in case like people come and try and kill him or something. Alright, hopefully that should keep the cough at bay. Let's see, what else have we got here? A tear... a tube. A piece of plastic tube? Okay, I'll stick it in. Rather light. The walls of the pipe are thin. Maybe it belongs to part of a ventilation system or something. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? A poster. The poster survived the explosion relatively undamaged. It was probably hit squarely by the pressure wave and then pressed against the wall. Hmm. Here's a table showing the occurrences of blood groups. Uh, okay. Is that, is that useful for me? Most of the people have blood group AB, and then comes B, then A, and then quite rarely there's group O. I wrote that down just in case. <laughs> Hold Here's on. A table showing Repeat that. Okay, yeah, I got the right order. Most of the people have blood group A B. A B B A. Oh, okay. Got it. Written it down. We'll have that if we need it in the future. A safe. safe survived the explosion undamaged, I'd say. These burns may have well come from a Weldon set. The kid reckoned that Angelina looked real pleased with herself. Somehow she must have got the safe open. Why'd she now, close it again then? Here, a combination lock. Not with numbers, with letters. Can I see it? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Is it just the blood order? Ha! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Alrighty. 
What's we got in here that she didn't take? There were several blood samples. The boy mentioned that there's a number on each sample, and there's a list of names stuck on the back of the safe. Now let's see. Weird. The numbers one to five are missing. That's Richard Gordon and William Gordon. Gordon's blood. What does Angelina want with that? Does she need it herself or something? Or does she want to stop it getting into other people's hands? <sighs> Whatever it is, I can't trust her anymore. She's in this thing somehow and she's lied to me. I ought to drive back to Willow Creek. Maybe she's turned up there in the meantime. And then... then we'll see. How exactly do you propose that we drive back? There's nothing else in it apart from the blood samples. And I know what I had to know. Angelina was after the Gordon's blood. The question is, why? And what have I got to do with it? Well, you are hallucinating as Samuel, so that's, that's kind of telling. A tear. Whether the crack goes back to the explosion or appeared later, I don't know. Whichever the case, it doesn't look good. Logic tells me that the tower has been standing like this for years, and so the chances are pretty damn slim that it's all of a sudden going to collapse this minute, just while I'm here. But my gut tells me that I shouldn't stay here any longer than I absolutely need to. <laughs> okay. Chains? Chains, wrought iron rings, crudely hewn stones. Not exactly what you'd call modern craftsmanship. Rather more like a Frankenstein movie. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, anything else? A welding set? Whoa, hey. A welding torch. Angelina was using some heavy gear. But it doesn't look like it's been used. The safe wasn't cut open. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. I already got it open. What, are you gonna put that in your pocket, too? Works perfectly. What do you need that for? Works perfectly. Okay, the passage. I can't get through there. The passage has collapsed a few yards in. Am I supposed to weld something here? Do we know what's in this, Newspaper by the way? Newspaper cuttings. Hmm. From 1981. Twelve years ago, William Gordon in fatal accident, Willow Creek. William Gordon fell on Tuesday from his studio in the tower of his home due to unknown causes. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Not William blah, blah, blah. Gordon. Suicide. As the police today announced, we are now dealing with the fall of the master of Blackmere Castle close by the village of Willow Creek. In all probability, a suicide. Here's another piece a week later. Grim serial murders in Willow Creek. Blah, blah, blah. Latest victim of Bloody Trail, Vic Valley, just 12 years old. According to police sources, his body was found next to a stone circle in the woods. The condition of the corpse gives reason to suspect a ritual killing. Dun, dun, another dun. two weeks later. Main suspect in Willow Creek murders identified. As Scotland Yard has announced, it has been established that at three of the murder scenes, there are signs which suggest the involvement of Samuel Gordon, the grandson of William Gordon, who was killed last month. Samuel Gordon was found dead two weeks ago at the foot of one of the towers of Blackmere Castle. Apparently the tower from which his grandfather had previously... What do you mean, oh, blah, blah? Reports about the murder fest in Willow Creek 12 years ago. No wonder that Sir Richard was interested in it. William was his brother. Uh... Yeah? <laughs> okay. Um... So, wait. Is this not the explosion that I set off? Because if he has clippings from after Samuel died, then I couldn't have done that. Is this a different explosion? How many things were exploding out here? 